Buildings have the quality of being able to adapt to changes over time. And the building process is a result of the collaboration of many people and many generations within the community. Children are taught to construct buildings at a very young age and the entire community share resources and knowledge and they worship and celebrate together in their own region. This week, we are going to explore the topic, people, culture, tradition, and the use of architecture. We will examine first what cultural tradition is, and then we will see how that relates to the emergence of vernacular architecture. We will draw upon Professor Amos Rappaport's theoretical framework on meaning of vernacular architecture to support our understanding of how people build places to fulfill the functions, needs and aspirations. And what messages are sent to the community as well as to us, the outsiders? <laughs> 